für dich, ich rap dein Leben, für mich ich rap ein Take, wo von wo von rappen, wenn ich außer Rap nichts mehr bewegt. Ich bin nicht mit euch unten, ihr macht Rap nur aus Unsinn. Ihr habt mir nichts zu bieten und seid eure eigenen Kunden. Bettet euch a Cappella, ich will sehen, wer schneller den Gewinner stecke ich so Unterhaltung in mein Keller. Untergrund bedeutet für euch an das Mike kommt jeder Penner. Untergrund bedeutet auf die Party kommen nur Männer. Männer. Guten Tag, wir befinden uns hier im wunderschönen Bundesstaat Indiana. Und ich befinde mich vor dem Warp Sports Schinkolladen. Und Kitty und unser Kumpel Nick dort werden euch ein wenig was über diesen Laden erzählen. Also rein da! Hey, so here we are in Sherville, Indiana at Warp Sports. Um, we found them driving down the road. Say hello, this is George. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so um, lots of people have uh, been asking about your store, so we thought we'd come in and say hi. So, um, you know, why did you start a store? I truthfully didn't start the store. Okay. Um, it was started, started. It was started by a girl, Lori, yeah. who was tired of being ripped off by people and waiting five to six weeks to get the paintball markers yeah, back. Yeah, hell that is. <laughs> and from repair. And so in '97. So a while ago. She opened a little 700 square foot store. And so in, what, 12 years, she's gone from 700 square feet to 3,800 square feet. A little bit of an increase there. A little bit. <laughs> but a lot of grief because, in fact, she was a girl. Uh, a lot of people didn't like the idea that she owned a store. They didn't like the way that she did things because when she originally came in, a lot of people got 100 bucks for a case of paint. Yeah. And she felt that $60 was a fair price, and so she dropped the paint prices and started the paint wars. Ah, so she's the one we have to thank. Yeah, <laughs> in, in the Midwest. I remember, I remember paying, um, I guess, the equivalent of about $150 a case um, back when I started. Like but it, we didn't used to use cases at that point. You'd get together with your mates to buy a case, you know. If you went through 500, that was a, you were ripping. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it's so true, though, isn't but it? You no, know? because the first time that I did play paintball, uh, I went partners with two other guys on a case. And after the first game, I was asked to step out of the case because they couldn't afford me. Oh, really? Yeah, I shot like 700 balls in the first game. And, what were you shooting? Uh... A brand new auto mag. It was a uh, mini mag. Just came out at the time gun. with a uh, Revy that just came out that week, using JT Spectras that came out a couple weeks earlier. That's awesome. So, um, when did you start this Warp Sports? This okay. one's been here about two and a half years. Um, the move was a little rough because. Uh, Going from one location to the other, it was hard telling your customers that you were moving. Uh, your competitors tell everybody that uh, you went out of business. Yeah. <laughs> uh, especially when they hate the woman owns the store. And uh, I mean, but Lori is top notch. Yeah. When she opened the store, she went to Smart Parts and learned how to fix shoppers. I mean, I'll be honest. Like the women that I've met in paintball tend to have bigger balls than the guys generally. Oh. Yeah. She, well, she's been wearing mine around her neck for about. 25 years, so <laughs> she's got two sets. That's quite funny. So how long have you been playing? Uh, about 18 years. And you've been playing on any teams? Or uh, we played uh, a lot of novice tournaments years ago as No Limit. Then we became Team Bam. Then we uh, started playing on a team called Vicious, uh, which was a collection of owners of different warp sports. Yeah, is that now DXS? Is that the same team or is that different? Uh, no, the Vicious is still Vicious. vicious. But it's an entirely different group of guys. Yeah. Because uh, the guys from our team, Vicious, went on to play on Dynasty Avalanche. So they went to play other teams. Yeah. Um, it was one of them things you win Huntington Beach in your first tournament. We just met each other uh, weeks before. Uh, had one three hour practice. <laughs> Go to Huntington Beach and win. Did second in Vegas. We were eighth in Chicago. We won New Jersey and won San Diego. And amazing how people jumping in, offering you sponsorship, can destroy a team. Yeah, well, people then get greedy. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, because um, the guy that wanted to buy the team was actually a competitor of ours. Ah, uh, okay. And I couldn't play on a team that was going to win to get prizes for him to compete against Lori. 
Yeah, that's always bad. I mean, there's always a, there's always a fine balance when you you know get big and pay for to balance the politics and the playing and stuff. It's on the downsides. Oh, but. yeah, that team would have been just monstrous, and a lot of the kids that played on BAM, which we still kept together while we were yeah, playing yeah. on Vicious, uh, went on to be great players. Uh, some of them to the All Americans, some of them to uh, Avalanche. So. So some pretty well known teams then. Right. Do and you still play now? I weekend? play recreational. That's no. good fun. Oh, great fun. I yeah. played my first big game last week at a field called Fort Knox in Winnemac. Absolute best time that I've probably had playing paintball since the very first big time I went. Big games are great because you have so many people around you and there's less of that clickiness and everyone can just kind of blast and have fun. And no one was, uh, was being serious there. No. Everyone was there to have fun, shoot, uh, and just goof around. That's you know, awesome. and that's what counted to just get out there and just play awesome. get the blood going again well thank you very much so uh, what we'll do at the end of the video is we'll post up all the uh, shop opening hours and stuff and you can come say hey to george and the rest of the crew that are hiding behind the camera just there <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much thank you <laughs> busted <laughs> Der Leben für mich ist Rap ein Take Wo vor, wo vor Rappen, wenn nicht außer Rap nix mehr bewegt Ich bin nicht mit euch unten, ihr macht Rap nur aus Unsinn Ihr habt mir nichts zu bieten und seid eure eigenes Kunden Bettet euch a cappella, ich will sehen wer schneller Den Gewinner stecke ich zur Unterhaltung in mein Keller Untergrund bedeutet für 